Hi, I'm Nick Baspley from Weld here in Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be unboxing the Multi-Process 201 welding machine. This is a really exciting product that we have. It's unique here to North America. Uh, it's capable of many different functions. So we're going to take it out of the box. We're going to show you guys what it can do, how to set it up, and then later on we're going to do a more in-depth demo where we get to see it in action. So let's get started and see what's inside. The first thing you're going to want to do is take out your owner's manual and you're going to want to flip it to the safety section. You do not want to skip this. It's full of lots of helpful tips to make sure that you protect yourself, protect the people around you, and protect property around you from uh, fire, from welding fumes, and from the light. So please don't skip out on this. Next we're going to take a look at the torches it comes with. So first thing we got is our ground clip. This is a 10 foot ground clip, so it's got a nice bit of length to it, so you can reach wherever you need it to go. It's also nice and stiff, and it's the alligator style, so you can clip it onto pretty much anything and guarantee that you have good connectivity and you don't end up getting any shocks. Next, we have our 12 foot MIG welding gun, which we're going to be talking about in a little bit. After that, we have our arc welding electrode holder, or our stinger. Uh, it also has a 10 foot lead. It's got the nice light cables, which is really nice. So when you're working up over your head, your arms don't get tired and your hands don't start to shake. When you're at it all day, that can be really important. And lastly, we have our hose for the gas connection hookup. It's the nice quick connect style where you just pull it back and slip it on. So you don't have to worry about carrying around a crescent wrench and rounding off the nuts and that sort of thing. Next in the kit, we have our regulator. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. It's a nice brass regulator. They're pretty heavy duty. You can, they're pretty sturdy. So you'll hook it up to your bottle here and you'll hook it up to your torch or your machine here. And uh, you'll be able to use this wing nut in the front to control the flow of gas going to your work, which is really nice. So let's take a look at our welding machine next. This is a little heavier, it's uh, weighing in at 29 pounds, so I'm going to put it down on the floor to take it out of the box. So here we go, get a nice look at it here. This is a really nice multi-process welding machine. And when I say multi-process, that means that we can MIG weld with it, we can pulse MIG weld with it, we can TIG weld with it, we can stick weld with it, and we can even braze with this. Uh, I mentioned earlier that it's pretty unique to North America. You're not going to find too many other machines like this. Um, it's got a really nice LED display here, so it's nice and bright when you're working in those low light conditions, you know, wherever you might find yourself trying to make a dollar. It's got the larger um, connections here, which help dissipate heat and uh, help your, your cables and everything last longer. Um, they're also universal size, so if you have your own cables, they will fit. You'll be able to plug them in and out. It's got a really easy to use interface here where you'll just be using this menu button and you'll cycle through these options. See, it says job there. So you'll cycle through these options and you'll pick what process of welding you want to do. And then just using these two knobs, you'll be able to make all the fine adjustments that you have to do, which is really nice because sometimes a multi-process uh, machine of any sort can be pretty complicated. This one, like I said, is really user-friendly. It's nice and bright, easy to use, uh, and very intuitive just by following the symbols and just these two easy knobs and this two really easy to read part up here. So let's take a look at what we can do with the MIG welding stuff first. So first we're going to hook up our MIG welding torch and we'll just slide it in here, screw it in tight. So now we're set to put our ground clip on ground clip's going to go in here. And now we're ready just to do some standard MIG welding, which is nice. Very easy to do, really easy to connect. But maybe we have something really thin that we want to weld on today, and so we're going to maybe use our pulse welding technology. With that, we're just going to adjust the machine down to the pulse welding setting. And if you're not familiar with pulse welding, it's going to allow you to pulse the heat on and off. And that's going to open up a lot of capabilities for you. You're going to be able to weld on things that are a lot thinner than you've usually had the ability to do without distorting them and ruining them because it allows the material time to cool off over and over again. Another great part about the pulse welding is that it eliminates the spatter that you might be used to. Um, I don't know if you're 
experienced with MIG welding, but a lot of times when you do it, it leaves little BBs all over the work that you have to grind off afterwards if you want it to look nice. Uh, when using the pulse welding capabilities, you don't have any spatter anymore. So when you use that, you get to save all that and all of your fill metal goes right into your joint. So you get a really nice look to the weld and you save a little bit of filler metal, which is nice. We can also do some flux core welding with this machine. And with that, we'll open it up here. We would change our spool and then we would flick over to spool gun. And then with that, our drive system is going to go directly to the spool gun. All the power is going to go to it. And we're ready to go uh, for gasless flux core welding, which is really nice, really easy to do. We'll flip the polarity, flip the switch, and then we're ready to rock. This machine also has a really unique feature where it has a memory. So first, it has a synergy with the controls, which means that it won't allow you to overdo something. If you turn up your amperage all the way, it has a basic window programmed into it. So it's going to bring up your wire speed to a certain level. From there, you'll be able to fine tune it a little bit if you want, but it helps you really dial down that window. And once you get it set in, you can program that into the machine and it can remember 99 different jobs. So that's 99 different joints, 99 different thicknesses, 99 different metals. You can have it all set up in here. And once you figure it out once, you just bang, 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 you program it into the machine and it's ready to go for you, which is a really nice feature, especially if you're switching back and forth a lot. A lot of us have a lot of downtime trying to dial in our machine perfectly every single time. So it's really nice to be able to have that memory built into the machine. And again, the synergy in the controls allows you to really narrow down that window when you're trying to find that perfect combination of heat versus wire speed. And here is our arc welding electrode. That's going to plug in. right here. So once we've got that switched over, again, we'll use this menu button, we'll select the arc welding icon, and then we're ready to go for arc welding. We'll just use this one knob here to make our adjustments, and then we're ready to go. So it's really simple to bounce back and forth between the jobs that you want to do, which is really nice because, again, the tearing down and the setting up of these machines can sometimes be really meticulous. It's nice to have a machine that can do everything, that's well laid out for you to switch back and forth. All right. Lastly, let's take a look at our TIG connections. For that, we'll go back to our wall here. And we got a nice five pin TIG connection. So we'll put in our five pin connector first. And then we'll plug our torch in, lock it into position, get our ground back. Let's just move this over here so you guys can see. Plug in our ground. Again, we'll go back to the menu and we'll look for the TIG welding symbol, which is pretty obvious. We'll highlight that again. And now we're ready to go for TIG welding. So we've been able to run through the three different processes, well actually four different processes, in just a matter of minutes with the tear up and the set down being really, really easy, which is nice. Now it's time to do our demo. Uh, first we're going to start off and do some TIG welding. We've got some nice 1 8 inch plates here. We're going to set them up into some T-joints and see what we can do. After that we're going to set up our MIG welding part. We got some nice quarter inch plate. Again, we're going to set up some T-joints and uh, see what this machine's capable of. And then I got some half inch plate in the back and we're going to set up some more T's and we're going to use our stick welder and see what kind of results we get. So now let's take a look at the results. First we're going to take a look at our mild steel TIG on the 1 8 plate. Came out really nice. We got good penetration and a nice good color, good clean weld. After that we have our mild steel MIG weld on the quarter inch plate which also came out really nice. Nice tight bead, good ripple pattern. And then lastly we ran two arc welds on this half inch plate. We did one in the horizontal and one in the flat position and they both came out really nice as well. 
It's a good machine with good results. So next time we do a video, we're going to go through all these processes, we're going to have all the metal laid out, and we're going to be able to show you guys the minimum and the maximum capabilities of this machine, and we're really going to show you what it can do. So uh, until then, have a lot of fun out there, stay safe, and I'm Nick Baspley. Thank you for watching.